In this video, we're gonna make a carnation flower. Now, I don't have carnation cutters, so instead, I'm just gonna use these cookie cutters um, with the fluted edge, and I find that these work just as well. So I'm gonna use some modeling paste. If you're using normal fondant, it won't work as well. Um, I've got the Renshaw's one here, and I'm gonna use a pink one, and it's ready dyed for me, which makes it a lot easier for me. Saves me a bit of time. So I've got my pink modeling paste and I'm gonna roll it out so it's nice and thin. So the same thickness you would do if you're making any petals or flowers. So not quite paper thin, but as thin as you can get it without it tearing. If you've got it too thick, you'll find it's difficult to frill the edges when we make the petals. So I'm gonna use two sizes with my cutters. The smaller one I'm gonna use for the inside petals and I'm gonna cut two of these. And then the larger one, I'll use one of for the outer petals. Okay, so we'll screw that up and put it back in the bag so it doesn't dry up. Okay, so I don't want these to dry out while I'm filling the edges of that one, so I've just got some plastic here, which is actually a piping bag. that I'm just gonna put them into so that it stops them from drying out. So I'll leave those in there. Now, we're just gonna use a cocktail stick for frilling the edges, so I'm gonna keep that flat on a hard surface. I don't wanna do it on a foam pad, otherwise it won't work as well. I'm gonna put my cocktail stick, so it's only a small amount over the edge of my flower, and I'm gonna roll it gradually, and I'll turn it each time I go to a little bit of a frill or a curve on my petal. I'll try and turn it round. So you're gonna roll it backwards and forwards, keeping it flat on your work surface as you're doing it. Now, with these being carnations, if you do end up sort of cutting through it with your cocktail stick, don't worry, because that actually adds to the effect and makes it look quite nice. So I'm gonna do this all the way around. Okay, and I'm just gonna put it in my bit of plastic just for a second while I sort out my wire. So I'll start with a new one so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna cut a piece of wire and I'm just gonna curl over the end so the aeroplane's flying over that you can hear now I've got a bit of florist tape and I'm just going to wrap it around that hook that I've made at the end of my wire so I'm going to pull it around tight just makes it easier when I'm putting my petals on if they've got something for them to stick to okay and I'm going to start wrapping it down my wire just a little bit and I'll pull that off so we've just got the end bit like that. Now you can do that before making your actual petals. I was just a bit disorganized and forgot to do that. So I'm gonna place a little bit of water in the center. I don't wanna drown it, just a small amount. You can use edible glue if you prefer. Now taking the bottom of my wire, I'm gonna push that through. And then I'm gonna fold my flower over like that. So you'll see, you can see where the wire is in the centre there, but from the top, you shouldn't be able to see through to the wire. What I'm gonna do now is put a little bit of water, or again, a double glue, on either side, and I'm gonna fold one edge over that side. I'm gonna turn it round, and I'm gonna fold the other edge backwards, kind of a figure of eight for it, I guess, and I'm just gonna pinch it all in around the bottom, so it comes in around the stalk. And I'm just gonna leave that to dry now in my polystyrene. So I've got a few that I'd started making earlier. Now I've used this polystyrene block a few times so it's a little bit scruffy looking. But I'm just gonna leave that in there to dry. So you can then add your second layer. So we're gonna use the same size petal now, your flowers shouldn't take too long to dry. So by the time I've done this, I might be all right to add this one over the top of the one we've already done. If you're unsure if it's firm enough, just leave it overnight if you want. So do all your center ones first, leave them overnight and do this second layer the next day. So again, we're gonna put a bit of water all in the center of that petal. 
So I'm taking one that has started to firm up a bit now. And again, I'm gonna push that through the center and I'm gonna pull these up onto here. So it's about level <clears throat> with the other ones. I'm just gonna push that in all the way around, okay? So it's starting to get a little bit bigger. If you want to keep your carnation quite small, you might want to stop at this point. If you want it to be bigger, we're going to add another layer. For the next layer, we're going to go with our bigger petal. So with our larger petal, we're going to repeat doing exactly the same thing again, frilling the edge. So we've frilled the larger one. We're going to just put water all in that center. Again, not too much that you drowned it. And we're going to push our flower in the center. Again, don't forget to let it have a bit of time to dry before you do this. And we're going to push this one up to our other layers and we're going to push it in around the sides just gently. Don't want to push too hard in because you push it off your piece of wire. Okay now you might find this time if you leave it drying this way up that the petals flop backwards so you see they're starting to flop here. So this time you might want to hang them upside down and just curl the edge of your wire to hang them onto something to let them dry. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.